With 9-11 here, it's time to once again remember those who serve our country, certainly in our military who defend our nation, but also our first responders who've uh, made our lives safer and more secure and who have responded to the terrible disasters that occurred on 9-11 and every day since then. Just this past week, I was having a conversation with someone about 9-11. We always have those conversations about where were you and what do you remember? Uh, just a few days after 9-11, uh, I traveled to New York City and visited Ground Zero. And it's one of the things that uh, has stayed with me uh, really all, all my life, every day since then. And I got to see Ground Zero shortly after the tragic uh, aircraft crashed into the Twin Towers. And I saw a, a rubble and smoke coming from the ground. I also saw family members ushered to the site to see for the first time where their loved ones were, where they perished, where they died. It was a very moving experience, but what has stuck with me every day since then is the makeshift memorial. Uh, New Yorkers and others had paid tribute to those who died at Ground Zero. There were long tables there, and on those tables were cards and notes and stuffed animals, teddy bears. People had brought things to those to that place to lay there in honor and respect of those who died uh, at Ground Zero on 9-11. And the one thing that I picked up from that table was a, a note uh, clearly written by a child in, in handwritten, uh, handwritten at those blue lines of a piece of notebook paper. And the message that I remember to today is this, Dear Daddy, how much I love you, how I hope heaven is a wonderful place, and I hope I live a life good enough to join you in heaven someday. Amanda, age 12. And that was a, an experience, as I say, I haven't forgotten, but it reminds us that we all have the responsibility as American citizens to see that there are no more Amandas, no more young girls, no more children, no one who suffers the loss in their family because of a terrorist attack uh, on the United States. And so I, as an elected official, as a member of Congress, but all of us as American citizens have a responsibility to make sure that 9-11 is not repeated. And again, we thank all those who, who protect and defend our country. And our goal here is to make certain that Americans are safe in their homeland.